Raging Justice. <laughs> Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. How are you? It's with an absolute pleasure and extreme humbleness that I feel privileged to be able to review today on my channel, Raging Justice, the new game by developer Making Games, a new and upcoming indie developer, courtesy of Nick Making, Anna Making, and in associations with Team 17. And a very special thank you to my good friend, The Real Young Kano, who allowed me to interview Making Games and because of that interview, allowed me to get early access to a review copy of Raging Justice, which I have the privilege to review today on the launch date of May 8th. So let's get to it. Raging Justice is an absolute love letter to the 2D side-scrolling beat-em-ups of the 1980s and 90s, which is a genre that is really in this day and age pretty much dead it's really non-existent last generation during the 360 eras we had a couple that trickled here and there like double dragon neo double dragon revenge the remaster and things like the remaster of turtles in time what i can say is that raging justice is taking very very many homages to old school games that go back to like narc games like punisher with the gritty style and uh, nature of the game the colorful nature of streets of rage a very colorful palette creative characters that look like thugs and bullies that came straight out of an urban street <laughs> which pays wonderful tribute to the old school style and genre. Even here, as you see, the, the sign on the wall saying makings, from, which is the developer, in the same vein that Sega would do with their old school games and games like from Konami. Raging Justice is absolutely a breath of fresh air for the indie space and the indie market right now because it's a very uh, uh, lost genre that a lot of people really don't like to make anymore. So for me, it's very refreshing and an absolute delight because everyone knows that I've been very vocal on my channel that 2D beat-em-ups and beat-em-ups in general are my favorite genre of all times next to hack and slash. So, as you, as you saw earlier, there was a nice brawl fight in a bar like in Final Fight. All these homages really bring back and hearken to those heydays where beat em ups were AAA and really great in the gaming space. The story is about three cops that have to protect a city that's out of control with corruption and crime. You have Nick Raging, Nicky Raging, and Ashley King which is the young boy that's in training all characters are very well balanced Nick Rage for for example is the strong muscle bound but kind of moves slow but very effective and takes a lot of energy Nicky Rage is the more slender and agile of the bunch which allows you for faster movement but she does take kind of like a, a, a energy in between Nick and Ashley. Uh, Ashley, on the other hand, is very fast, very quick, but is weaker. He's the, the weaker of the bunch. He takes less energy. So you have your stronger character, your in-between character, and your less stronger character. Uh, but when you're playing in co-op, it's very well balanced, and it works very well. The gameplay of the game is extremely fluid and extremely responsive. You can really tell that they took a lot of time to concentrate on the gameplay feel and aesthetics of the game. And it's very, very reminiscent to the old school beat-em-ups, which is very important for these types of games. As far as the graphics, the graphics are very well presented. 
They're like a form of claymation, like in the style of Wallace and Gromit, with a combination of the old school pit fighter with pre rendering backdrops and foreground. The game doesn't take itself serious. You have the absurdity of the sounds and the absurdity of the little icons of, 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 of descriptions that come on screen, like saying a brutal attack or a great kill, which is a straight uh, respectful homage to the old school beat em up in, uh, in, their, you know, in, in that essence. Also, the game, it has trailer tractors you can ride on, which is a vehicle. You can pick up a, a numerous amount of weapons from shotgun to knives to axe to blades to even uh, trash cans. So the absurdity and the fun factor never goes away, never feels or falls short. Raging Justice is a game that you can clearly tell that making games really loves, cares, and respects for the old school style beat em ups. And they were trying to really deliver with what they loved and cared for back in the 80s and the 90s with the delivery that they have given here with Raging Justice. It's extremely difficult if you play it on the hardest mode. If you play it on the normal mode, it's well balanced. If you play it on the easy mode, it's pretty much a cakewalk. Even when you play on co-op, it doesn't lose the challenge and the feel. You do have the option to put hit or friendly hit or take it off. And you also have a battle royale mode, which is pretty cool because it's almost like a time attack mode. So now let's talk about music. The music in Raising Justice, you can really tell that we were trying to adapt and take away from games like Streets of Rage or Crime Fighters, but the composer made it his own style and feel. So it works really well. The music is really, really uh, well made for a beat em up of, the, of this kind as well, which is kind of hard to make or interpret in many ways. Uh, to pump you up and keep you with the rhythm and feel of the game but for sure it's done quite quite well so raging justice is something that you don't really see much in today's age but i'm glad that they took it because with that chance now this can hopefully hopefully open the doors for more upcoming games and future beat em ups to come out from other developers. Making games has created a great foundation and a good beginning for a potential franchise in Raging Justice, for future Raging Justice titles. I have to commend them, and I'm really happy with the game. All I can say, if I have any faults is, I wish the game had more characters to pick from, more vehicles to actually wield to kill the bad guys on and maybe perhaps uh, a co-op online but I can honestly say that making games already addressed this when I spoke to them personally in the interview in the interview like I said they already stressed and said they are very aware that the fans want this and I think if they're able to do this, it would open up the doors for a newer audience and more people to come in and want to play the game because it gives us a more broader life and more broader audience by allowing online co-op, which would be amazing. They are only hoping that the game has enough success so that they can implement this because it's very costly to implement the co-op campaign to the game believe it or not uh, I know it's a it's been a very big feat to this point for making games to make the game it was, it's been in production and they've been working on it for over four years and I'm glad that they had the partnership with team 17 to finally finalize the game and bring it out so if you like games like undercover cop it's amazing spider-man the beat em up from Sega or games like Double Dragon or Final Fight 
or Streets of Rage, obviously, and things like Riot City. Raging Justice is the right game for you. Very well put together, very polished, great gameplay, great graphics, exceptional music, good co-op mode, and a good foundation for future games. I am going to rate Raging Justice based on the metric of it being an indie game, not a AAA game like a Gears of War or God of War. I'm going to rate it based on the independent market space. I truly feel Raging Justice deserves out of 10 and 8.5. Guys, that is my honest opinion and my honest review. Please go out and support the game because I don't think you will be disappointed. You'll be fairly surprised and you will enjoy every minute of it. There's nine stages all together. There's a nice little story homage going back to Streets of Rage in the very beginning. And like I said, for the price of $13.99, I don't think you can go wrong. Raging Justice for me is a true success and a hit, in my opinion. And that's my humble opinion, of course. So guys, I hope you liked the review. I hope I did the review justice, no pun intended. And I know that if you see it, you'll understand. And I hope you realize that it's from my heart. I'm being as honest as possible. Go out and support Raging Justice, because you won't be disappointed. So, if you guys are wondering where can you get Raging Justice, Ooh. it is available on the Xbox One, Nintendo Switch, PlayStation 4, and on PC through Steam. This is the Xbox One version. I played it on the Xbox One X. It ran very well, no freezing, no stuttering. For those of you who may be curious, it is out today, and it's available now. Guys, like, comment, share, or subscribe if you like to. Please, let's spread the word about Raging Justice. It's a very good game, it's a dying job, and it deserves to be looked at. I don't think you'll be disappointed, and I hope you like what I brought to the table, giving my thoughts and explanation about the game. Love you, and... See you soon. Ebot e review.